Hello guys, I'm Yuri Farzak here and in this tutorial we will see how to make these snowflake shapes in GH Python. First, I want to show you that the snowflake shape is based on the Koch curve created by Helje von Koch, a Swedish mathematician. And if you see the geometry, it is a straight line divided by 3. And the middle segment is deleted and instead of it we have two similar segments with the same length. So this pattern is scaled and is done in each segment and we have snowflake pattern which is created by Koch curve. Now let's take a closer look at what we can do in Grasshopper. As you can see here, some steps are done in Grasshopper, but in advanced tutorials, you will learn how to convert these steps in coding in GH Python. You can see I created a simple geometry, an equilateral triangle created by polygon component, and then I deconstructed it and get all the vertices so this is what is done in GH Python coding that the first iteration then the second one third one and fourth one you see we got the snowflake shape and you can go to any iteration you want now I want to talk about the geometry behind if you have a line and as you saw in that website just divided by three you will have four points and three similar segments first we need to find the midpoint and then to move it in a way that we can create similar segments and connect these points to this moved middle point to get similar segments that have the same length now the point is that how we should know this movement amount and also this direction we need these two items to move this middle point we have an equilateral triangle so this angle is 60 which is equal to this angle so to find this amount called x and if we consider this as L, and because it is equilateral triangle, we can consider all sides as L and also these segments. So by a simple math calculation, you can say that sine 60 is this X side divided on L side. I have made this calculation here. The formula is sine 60 equals x divided on L. Now, if we want to find x, we should use a simple math calculation. That is x equals sine 60 multiplied by L. Now, we know the amount of movement that the middle point should have. But another thing is the direction. You can see that it is perpendicular on the straight line. So to find the vector and the direction, we need to find the direction of the line and the vector that is created by this line from these two points. And then consider a perpendicular vector on it. To show it better, I want to use move component in Grasshopper. And let's consider a point here, set it and connect it to the geometry. It doesn't move as long as you connect a vector. So if I connect the vector because it is the factor is default by one, it will go one. And if I connect a number slider, I can control the amount of movement. Having the amount is not enough and also having the only vector is not enough. So we need both of them to move this middle point. Another thing I want to show you is 
that if you have two points and you make a line with these two points if you are trying to connect this point to this point you will have this vector but if you are trying to connect this first you will have this vector you can also practice this in grasshopper with line component if you want to go deeper so let's start writing all of these geometries in ghpython first we need to import rhino script syntax as rs and also we need math i want to make that vector you saw with which we can move the midpoint of the straight line so i want to make a function called def normal vec and it gets an argument like v and then it gets spt that is rs dot curve start point of that v and then we have end point that is rs dot curve end point now we should find the coordinates of the midpoint so x coordinate of the midpoint is this end point x coordinate from end point and x coordinate from start point now we need y coordinate of midpoint so it can be mid y equals ept1 minus spt1 now we want to find the vector by a simple math calculation it is minus mid y as x coordinate mid x as y coordinate and zero and at the end we want to return rs dot vector unitize of that vector we got so with this function we made that normal or that direction which is perpendicular on the straight line so let's create def cook the first argument will be a list of lines called line list and the second argument is the amount of iteration so i want to make it first we should create a copy of this line list and call it sample line and to make a copy we should write line list open bracket colon and close bracket then we should make an empty list called lines and after that we have an if conditional that says if the iteration was equal to zero return that uh, sample line that is actually the straight line we have at the first stage okay and else which means if iteration was not equal to zero we need a for loop for i in sample ln now we will go for all those geometry issues that we talked about first we need to get the length then find a midpoint and then divide the curve and also find a vector and that x amount that we wanted the midpoint to move based on that amount first we need length that can be rs dot curve length of i i is actually a line in that sample line list and then we will find midpoint 
that will be given by rs dot curve midpoint of i and then we need to divide curve and find find those vertices that will be called pts equal to rs dot divide curve the curve is i and the amount of division or the number of segments that we want to have is three and also we will find vector by that function we created above normal vec of i then we need that amount of movement of midpoint that will be called h and here we need to use math dot sign 60 can be math dot pi divided on 3 so this whole phrase means 60 and this one means sine 60 and then we need to multiply it by that l amount that l is actually length of whole line divided on 3 now we need to use pts.insert as the second item rs.moveObject of midpoint the object is midpoint and the vector is vector multiplied by h that is the amount of movement we are going to move the midpoint and also we have segment that is equal to rs dot explode curve and the curve that is going to be exploded is created by rs dot add polyline of all those points we had created in this line now we exploded all these curves now we want to make all of them new lines that we have in that list okay so the new segments that are created in new iteration is considered in this lines list and then we go back and use tab to have just one indent and say that iteration can go backward until it reaches zero and when it reaches re zero it just simply return this line and then from all of this function i want this def be returned that contains lines and the amount of iteration now if i say that a equals koch with all line list of k lines and iteration i should create k lines that is a list of line here on top you can declare that k lines an empty list then in this empty list i want to create rs dot add line with x and y then rs dot add line with y and z and after that rs dot add line with x and z now we should create the points that we gave in that line so this one is it iteration and it is considered as integer and all of these are considered as point 3d point 3d and this one point 3d so now we need to connect point 3ds to all these inputs i want to make a polygon with just three sides that is considered as equilateral triangle and then deconstruct it 
and then give all the vertices by list item component okay now we have all the three points now we need point component control c control v and connect each item to a point now if you connect these points to python input with an amount of iteration it should work what you see here if i turn off the preview by control q this is not the shape that we wanted but the point is in this line 5 if you try to change these items you will get different results so now if i use y here and x as the second item if i test the code you see this line is like it is mirrored on the other side and also about this one if i use z and y and test it you see we have a different result and if i change all of them x y y z and z x you see we have different result you can also use pipe from grasshopper and use a logical radius like this one connect it to the radius and see a better result so if i change this number slider you can see all the iterations and it needs much calculation to go further and also if i change all of them You see, we have different results.